Hey, I'm back. So remember, <clears throat> remember I told you I was going to show you how to bag up your vegetable that was soaking. You know, your, your um, kale and spinach. Okay, let's get it. So what I do is, is I done wash these uh, four times. And so I keep the water running in the bowl for any loose particles that may or may not have been washed. And then I have, wait one minute, because see, you need to see, because you learning like I had to learn, so you need to see. How about that? Wait a minute. Get it in a position where you can see. Okay. Yes. That's that. Okay, so then uh, I go through the strainer process, right? Like that. And I can eyeball it, you know, because I've been doing it for a while. So I literally can eyeball how much of it needs to go in because remember with the bullet you trying to estimate how much of your greenery you could get hold one second I'm going to show you the bullet uh, case you know okay this is it so what you doing is is seeing how much kale comfortably and spinach you could get in because remember, you're going to be adding some more little doodah in there. Let me show you the doodah because it's time for me to eat. So I'm measuring this out. Because like I was telling you, I've never been, you know, a breakfast type of person. You know, I I mean, I can and sometimes I will, you know, if depending on when, what, and where or whatever. I indulge, you know, it's no big thing, but I just do not really care for breakfast food, especially early in the morning. So anyway, so you see what I got in here, and don't go pushing and jabbing it, right? Because all you're going to do is make it hard on you when you trying to get this together. Okay. So, you know, when you're getting ready to put it, you know, in your blender. So, then, what I'm doing now, I got the kale and the spinach, right? So, to make it creamy, I'm going to put some avocado in there. Yeah, that look, that seems to be something that I'm going to put half of the avocado into the blender full of B vitamins. All the B vitamins is very important for digestive problems and so forth. Um, honey, that tastes good. But then you might want a little, you know, you might need a little something, something. Especially you, mm, I'm sorry, that avocado was good. So, to make it, um, To make it more tastier, I'm going to put half of this banana in there for the, um, you know, one, because of the potassium, you know, you need potassium, and also it's the sweetness. So, you know, you don't have to put the whole thing in there. You could just break it down, you know, help the machine along. 
Remember what I said. Don't go squashing it in that cup. So it can do the job that it's supposed to do. Right? Hold on. Because, you know, ginger is a good source uh, to get your blood flowing and so forth. I'm going to turn that water off so you can hear me better. And uh, so let me grab some ginger out of here right quick. Oh, sorry about that. I was looking and saw where I said I could. Remember we used um, beets this morning. You can use them some more. The more the merrier. Especially when you're dealing with uh, low blood. You need this iron. So I was able to slip one in there nice and comfortably. And um, now these hill ones will be left, you know, to do my other breakfasts. Well, you know, like that. So, okay, you got your ginger, right? Now you see what size that is. You could use half of that. And also, for protein, we're going to use some chia, chia seed. Give me a minute because I don't want to take you too fast. And y'all girls go easy on the, um, uh, on the, uh, garbage disposal. I mean, you could... You supposed to dispose of garbage down there, but you know, I'm gonna get crazy. Be to throw a gym shoe down there, right? And expect for that thing to chew it up. It's impossible. Now, nah, let me quit playing. But yeah. <laughs> so I cut that in, that piece into a third. Like that. See? Yeah. Put that in the bullet cup. Now, the chia seeds. Okay. Now, these are some little tiny seeds that you can put in. What I usually do is soak these seeds overnight to put in the blender so that they don't be harsh. Um to chew because as a matter of fact I'm going to leave them out so I could do that because I know for myself that if you do put those into your um, blender and they, and they haven't I got a, the little bitty containers like this you know per se and the cap to them I keep those like little things from the restaurant and stuff. I use a little cap like this to pull the seeds in. I show it to you before I'm over it. But anyway, I'm not going to put them in here. Because if you do put them in here and they're hard like that, when you sucking this through that straw, you're going to be getting them hard seeds. But nevertheless, keep it moving. And the other piece, hold on. Uh-oh. Now, the other piece of the ginger that I didn't cut, I'm going to make me some tea with that. 
Yeah, nothing goes to waste in my kitchen. Uh -uh, I ain't got no money to put in the garbage can. That's a fact. But I was trying to get this. Uh, this come from Trader Joe's. This is one of their raw honeys. But I also get the big um, bottle. It's a 16 ounce bottle of pure raw honey from Sam's Club. Don't matter to me where you get it from. Long as it's 100% raw honey. Raw. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to make sure you see, see that. Don't go get that little teddy bear, right? And call yourself putting that in here. Because you, you might well have got you a spoon of sugar and or two and put up in here. Because that's the way it's going to break down in your digest, digestive system. And I got a half a tablespoon of this. Like I said, I've been doing it long enough to just eyeball it. And uh, that's how I reason I don't need my measuring cups and all uh, spoons and all that because I know what it look like. All right, so now this blade right here it's the blade I would use to blend this, but before I start blending on it, and I'm going to show you um, how you use the uh, coconut milk, co pure coconut milk, and see, let me show you something else, too. This is about how much water I use, like... Had it ain't even a half a cup of water because that'll determine the consistency of your uh shape. If you put all that water in it, it's just gonna be real thin. If you don't put enough water in, it's gonna be too thick to drink. And so, to help the bullet along, I be you know, get everything going. Because remember, when you turn the bullet upside down to put it on the blender, everything that's on the top on going to the bottom. So make sure you think of that, that everything you put in first is going to be last, and everything you put in last is going to be first. All right. Turn that, water, turn that water off so you can hear better. All right, we're going to go over here to the bullet now. Let's see. Trying to make sure. Okay-ish. Right. Okay. So, anyway. The bullet got three slots. And the cups fit. The cup to the bullet fits into those slots. <laughs> I'm grind at the top up good and it's you know watering down. I just take it off right and shake it so the rest of the greens could come down and get blended. Okay. And then put it back in. Up. 
Okay. And my liquid is too thick for my liking. And I'll tell you what else you could put up in here too. If you would like your flavored water, you know this. Boy, I'll be glad when I get this down pat. Like this, your flavored water. You can put that in there instead of regular water. That would be best. You don't got to try to flood the glass. Just put a little blessing to it. And uh, better for it to be too thick than to be too thin. That way you can continue to thin it out to your liking. Because texture in your mouth is everything. Okay. So you get that a little shake. And put it back in the bullet. Hold on a second. I didn't have all the over. From me juggling it, I could tell that it's just about my speed. But I like to make sure all my stuff is turned up and turned up well. Because I don't want no big pieces or whatever to come through my straw. <laughs> What I do is, uh-oh, left a bottle of water up in there. I put that over here, right? Because I know I ain't finna get to it just that moment. Take this water out, it froze. And let it sit there. Because I, I don't know why I do that. Because I don't drink, me, I, don't, I do not drink water that's, um cold very often with ice and all this and that because it keeps your stomach big yep that's why i remember back in the day mama said oh when you come home from having the baby don't go in there sucking up that ice water because you be showing up on it once you done tasted it from the hospital but okay now we got that settled so let's do another step all right so now we back off into these greens getting big they washed and clean so you see you don't need very many of these greens this here bowl so to make 10 packs of greens for the blender so, you know, make sure you reach in there and you get all, all the spinach, you know, equalized to the kale. Because the kale is just like the uh, collard green. It's real thick. Like thick em. Yeah. And then you get your sandwich bag and, and put that up in there. Because that's how you're going to put this away in bags in your fridge. So when you get ready to have it, it's ready and it's done. You could just grab a bag, put it in the blender, put whatever else you have a liking for. Because for me, it really don't switch up or differ very much 
from from what I just showed you for myself. But you can try things, and like I said, if you tell me what it is that's you know ailing you or need you know need a little help on or whatever, then I'll uh, tell you how to put you know your blender together to correct that problem. Nevertheless, you know how to use sandwich bags, uh, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, But if you don't, I'm, I'm going to show you. Here we go. That's one serving to go into your blender. Okay, let's get it because, uh, you know, this here ain't no all-day situation. This here, get it. And be done. You know, that's why I use my strainer too. So in the process of getting the leaves, you losing that water because that moisture, right? Beating wilted your leaves. And that's the last thing you want. You want your leaves to be just as vibrant as they is here. You know, because you got to eat that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so okay and then you can squeeze them it's all right just squeeze them it ain't gonna break they ain't gonna be no less powerful than they are now because the difference is right uh cook food you cooking all the vitamin literally out of that food it's, it, it it started out as being a nutritional situation but as soon as you start boiling and stuff on that that was it it, it is what it was <laughs> uh, that's the a uh, good thing about um Eating raw vegetables. And you can get these little bags. You get what? A, a 50 of them. Four dollars. So that's what I'm saying. You know, economically. Right? Because 11 dollars will feed you for a week. And it's good for you. And good to you. If you do what you need to do. That I'm showing you. Right, and get that up in that bag. Right, go on, get it over with, cause then you don't have to. You seen how I had to go in here and get this and that, cause I hadn't did my whole haul of uh, cause I want to wait to show you, you know, cause if I'd have did it all. Or whatever, then you be like, well, I don't know nothing about that, and I understand that and respect that as well. And um, I'm gonna be having y'all with little pop quizzes, you know, each week to make sure you understanding those that's taking the challenge. Uh, you know that you understanding uh, eating this way. Okay, and put them nice and neat uh, in the fridge. I always put mine down at the bottom because that's the less um, coldest part of the refrigerator. You just want to keep your leaves nice and, uh, and if you see a little green on your leaf that don't look edible, feel free please. To pull it off. If you could salvage some of it, do. And if you can't toss it, it's no big deal. It's just that leaf or whatever. Okay. And so, grab them leaves. You know, wash them a little bit and stick them in the bag. 
Now me, when I'm usually doing this without y'all, I don't close the bag. I just get it all in the bag like this here so I could keep going because like I said, it's not a lengthy process or anything. It just depends on how you do things because this is like breezing. You know, it that come natural. See how I hit a whole lot of spinach but not a lot of kale. So I evened it out by reaching in my bowl to get it. Yeah. So now you see this process ain't an all day situation. Right, now you got two bags. You see, now I put three bags away. That's two more bags, and I'm on the third one now. So that means you got six servings out of one uh, kale and a few spinach. Now tell me you can't live with that. And uh, if your appetite bigger than that, you know, go right ahead. Nobody, this ain't no count calories and uh, look crazy at a bowl wishing you could have some more. You can have as much as this as you desire. That's just how I do it. But you can do it with satisfying you. But the only thing is in the challenge, right? You're staying in ketosis. Ketosis is the state of the body being um, balanced in insulin. Whereas there is no fluctuation. The only thing that could or would in jeopardize that is if sugar come into your bloodstream of any kind or amount. It's going to be like, oh... Uh, What's this? Oh, okay. Store the fat, because that's what sugar tells the body to do. Especially white sugar. Now, let me let you in on catch this nugget. That brown sugar, right, is sugar that's basically in its natural state. So, it's less dangerous way less dangerous let me say that as white sugar but this week don't worry about sugar or whatever worry about getting these vegetables clean bagged and eaten when you hungry Okay, that's done. So I showed you how to use your bullet to make your um to make your smoothies. And of course you uh the only thing I would tell you that if you wanted something else in there, as long as it's not a sugary thing, oh well, you know, cause um once you do that you will come out of ketosis quickly. So I wouldn't advise you to do so. But I'm Brenda. Your host is Great Awakening Family. And if you have any questions about what you just saw, please go to the comment box. I will address it. And any of my Vera, my viewers, that's just not tuning in to my channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share the blessing with others. I'll be back today. Bye-bye.